Notice these European paper wasps? They're gonna start fanning soon. They're inside this hot metal and you see how hot it gets. They get very hot. So they're trying to regulate the temperature by fanning. Um, it's a pretty rough place to live. You wouldn't believe this, but there are seven nests along this whole fence, right? Somebody's already gotten stung. This is one of those you have to be very cautious about because there's so many people getting stung right now. And it's because there's seven nests. Somebody kicks the fence and it causes lots of issues. European paper wasps are not native. Um, this is well, this dominulus. Uh, they have several advantages. Um, one is that they're generalists. So unlike some of our native ones, they feed on a variety of plants, like not just caterpillars, but they do wipe out all the caterpillars in the area. They also breed earlier and have a larger nest, so their populations are bigger, which means they have more people, more variety. They're usually one dominant female, uh, but other ones that help like two, and if something happens to the dominant one, another one takes over. These are invasive species here in, uh, in, in, in North America and in Canada uh, because of this, and uh, something that we have to be very careful about because they are aggressive. Again, you can actually see them fanning away right now. European paper wasps, basically like a long-legged skinny, um, a long-legged skinny uh, yellow jacket. You can't see the nest, but it'll be hanging inside there upside down like a regular paper wasp nest.